guys, I'm so proud. I'm so proud that you guys are saving the delivery fees. Check this out. Look at this perfect example. This guy right here, he watches his education. You know he does. Oh, this is, he's going full Grinch on this one. Full Grinch stole Christmas saving the fees. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Happy Thursday. Welcome to his education and welcome to another episode of Try Not to Laugh. Because that's just, it's a thing of beauty. It's a thing of beauty. Saving money where you can. And that's one place you can do it. We're going to jump into today's video. So if you are ready for today's game of Try Not to Laugh, head down and like this video. And if you are new here, please make sure you are subscribed and have the bell clicked for notifications when new videos are uploaded. One more thing before we start today's game. A quick word from one of the few sponsors of this channel, Old Glory Rustic Sign. Today's video is sponsored by Old Glory Rustic Sign. Head over to Old Glory and check out their new concealment flags. Not only do they make a great gift or home decor, but you can hide your favorite adult beverages, your secret pineapple on pizza recipes, or your favorite band memes. You can also control the concealment flags right from your phone using the Bluetooth enabled package. All of these flags are handcrafted and customizable to your liking. Head over to Old Glory today and type in code Z23 for 10% off. Z23 for 10% off. So let's jump into it. Try not to laugh. Go. When you're fighting with your sibling and it goes too far. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't tell mom. Don't tell mom. Don't tell dad. <laughs> All right. We got Conor McGregor. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> <laughs> Great movie. You can't step on a golf course without hearing a happy Gilmore quote. That's just a fact. And Conor McGregor. Tough. Tough couple weeks for that guy. I don't even know when this was, but that is a horrific first pitch. Like, we're talking Fauci bad. Come on, Conor. Come on, Conor McGregor. When somebody who doesn't have any kids asks me how my day is going... I've seen things you've only seen in your nightmares. <laughs> things you can't even imagine. <laughs> things you can't even see. You uh, you ever, you ever hear of a blowout, huh? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna be parallel parking here. It's a joke. You're in the smallest car of all time, and you can't fit in there. Uh, dash, come on, almost. Oh, come on, man. Really? You're kidding me. Who gave this guy a driver's license? He, didn't pass, he clearly didn't pass the test. I hope that wasn't a test. You know what? I hope that was the test. I hope you failed. I hope that you didn't even get your license. This is embarrassing. Me, every time I try to sleep. <laughs> One leg out. Yep. Oh, jeez, that's scary. Oh, that's, yeah, that scared the hell out of me, but it's true. You leave a leg out, you open yourself up to the boogeyman, and it happens, but you get that perfect medium of hot and cold if you want, if you have the leg out. What is this? Baby. Is this some genius ingenuity? Engineering? Look at that. Little baby rocker. For free. You, it's a multi-tool. It, it's not just a drill. It's a baby rocker as well. Genius. Dad's out there. That's what I'm talking about. You make it work. You guys are overfeeding your cats. Because this is how much a cat is what? supposed to eat. Not around here, partner. <laughs> <laughs> Not around here. Not around here, partner. You know, decadence. We live in the, the age of decadence for cats. Dad saves the day. That sheer to hell. Oh, look at our, what look the, at our camera. That looks dangerous. Oh, oh yes. Yes, Same. yes, yes. Bigly. Wow. There's some real dads left out there, man. Look at this. On the heels of Father's Day. What? I hope this guy had a nice steak for Father's Day. Look at that, dude. Oh, hell yeah. I mean, there's so many clips of uh, dads not being good dads recently, but that one right there, that's how you do it. Save the beer, too. Customer states there is no spare tire. Maybe a freaking Jeep or something. <clears throat> All right, I, I just don't believe that. I don't believe that there's no sp that, that they said there's no spare. This is not real. No, mechanics out there. What is the most bizarre 
situation a customer has brought to you where it's like you click a button or whatever that they could have fixed on their own. <laughs> Get out of here. Dude, move it a freaking club length away. Your friend's a, a dick if he's making you hit that. This isn't the PGA Tour, man. <laughs> That's a double hit. That counts as two. That's what you get. You should have just moved it club length. Double hit. Two strokes. Might as well take a penalty. On an airplane. <laughs> You're the first one up, man. Congratulations. Congratulations. I swear to God, this is the... There are people playing this game on every single flight. Why do you have to be the first one up? I don't know. I, I really, really do not know. People randomly in 2011. Hi, my name is Tim. I look happy, but I am not. <laughs> I have IBS. I sharded on <laughs> full of cheese. But cheese doesn't love me. BRB, I have to go. Come on. <laughs> Come on. What a weird, weird, weird internet trend this was. Today in Antarctica, it's minus 57 degrees. And I tried to pour a can of Coke. And it didn't go so well. Dude, how are you how are you outside right now? It gets negative 20 out here and like your eyes, your tear ducts are like freezing. You're gonna need frostbite, man. Careful out there. Finding Nemo, but Theo Vaughn shows up. Do you know where my dad is? He ended up dying, actually. He did some pills and drove into an embankment. But he, when I was young, he would sh in his yard make me bury it. <laughs> That's the best mashup I've ever seen. Best mashup of all time. Dude, I love that guy. He still has an open invite to the show. He hasn't responded yet. We'll keep you guys updated. Cyclists don't understand how roads work. Starting his season off strong, this cyclist already murdered a family of four. Yeah, it does feel so refreshing, putting so many lives at risk <laughs> every day. We find the busiest roads and we take up as much space as possible. I mean, what's not relaxing about that? <laughs> if I can just find a nice hill or a corner and make sure you're horrifically maimed in an accident, I feel satisfied. Bike lanes are kind of for pussies. I suppose that's why I ride a mongoose, so. Do you like the cycle? Oh, get out of here. We should go sometime. Get out of here. I know there's a lot of cyclists that watch this show that get upset every time we make fun of cyclists. But here in Minnesota, I'm pretty sure they made a rule. Uh, they just passed a law that says cyclists don't have to stop for stop signs anymore. They're, they're immune to traffic laws. So, yes, uh, this is the stereotypical bicyclist, the cyclist. Yes. Recently moved in. Is this a hidden camera? Stop. I'm thinking it could what? be like a hidden camera. I'm old. Millennials, I mean, 90s kids specifically. We lived in a really weird time, man. I, we're like the last generation to know what it's like pre-internet. We get to live through the budding of the, the social media days. It, like nobody else will ever experience that. It's That's why we're messed up. Kindness, gender rant, kind misgendering. So I was just picking up my vehicle from an oil change and the person came out of the garage and said, what can I do for you, young lady? And I know that this was intended to be a greeting of respect and kindness or politeness maybe, but I had this immediate like, okay, I'm young, maybe comparatively, I'll take it. But I was like, lady, what do I do with that? Like, it's so complicated because I know this person only intended kindness there was a smile on their face like i know that they weren't trying to like patronize me or gender me but i felt so gendered and so inappropriately gendered and i don't know what to do with that like what do you do with that how about this how about if you stop overestimating your level of importance reciprocate the kindness smile get your car and get the f home people don't have all day for this let me tell you something flock of pelicans strangers do not have to buy a ticket to your circus this world is a show as it is. It's to the point that when people are kind to you, you're taken back. It's a pleasant surprise. Like, oh, when somebody greets you with kindness. Because everybody seems to be pissed about everything. And here you come with your bullshit. Go sit down. <laughs> He's right. He's right. Get the hell out of here. You must you gendered me. Oh, shut up. We all live, we live in two different worlds today, okay? And the people that don't live in your world... They don't have to follow your rules. It's just, it is what it is. Everybody's always talking about, oh, I want a man, I want a man. 
I got this cute ass blazer at the thrift store thinking I look good as hell. Look at this nice green color. And then I come out of the bathroom. He was like, you look like you just won the masters. <laughs> she does. <laughs> what? It's being honest. What do you like? See, this is the problem. This is the problem. Ladies, you always ask, you know, how do you, do you think I look good? It's like, yeah, yeah, you look great. But then you, you say you ask. Because you don't want to go out in public and, and think that, uh, you know, you, you look silly. So when we do say that, when you do look like you won the Masters, you do. Uh, I mean, it's a sweet jacket. It is. We tell you that, then you get mad. So what is it? It's a lose-lose, man. Me and my posse are on our way to kick some ass and take some names here. Pull up. Ooh, we got a challenge. Ooh, triple challenge. Let's go, boys. Let's go, oh, dude. Let's go. This is like a... Uh, that scene from Anchorman. Let's go. Come on. Did someone film this? I want to see this go down. I just saw somebody's garage door open and they did not have anything in that thing but their car. What kind of psychopath is that? <laughs> I, I feel like... What does that say about someone? If, you, if your garage is spick and span minimalist, maybe that means you're wealthy. Maybe you have other places for all your junk. I don't know. This is what my outfit would be if I was fighting on the battlefield in Pearl Harbor. So since Pearl Harbor is kind of like an ocean battlefield terrain, I think this gorgeous vintage blue t-shirt would look so good. So since Pearl Harbor happened in the 60s, I feel like this gives a very like vintage vibe. But yeah, this t-shirt is kind of like a windbreaker t-shirt. I think the ocean blue color just matches so well with the whole like Pearl Harbor ocean Hawaii aesthetic. So for pants, you guys, you guys already know that I have to do some sort of camo to match with, like, the army theme. Because, duh, I'm in the army, like, I have to have some camo on. And they also have, like, stars on them because I'm the star of this Pearl Harbor war. But yeah, these pants are so, like, war vibes. So for shoes, I'm gonna go along with, like, the ocean blue theme because we are battling in Hawaii. So I have these blue Jordan 1 lows, and they're gonna go so well with my war t-shirt. So my combat Jordans are on. Now it's time for accessories. And of course right. I had to go nope. with some We're girls I can't, we are can't do it anymore. In Pearl Harbor. I just wish we had a time machine. I, I do. I wish we had a time machine and we could go back to show all the men and the women who fought in these wars and died. Like, show them, like, hey, this is what you're fighting for. This is what the future is. I don't know. Maybe things would have ended up different. Maybe we would have taken precautions, better precautions, to prevent this stuff from happening. <sighs> w Dad. Oh, yeah. One of these fishing pole ones. Another one. Yeah, hell yeah. Whoa! <laughs> oh, yeah. There you go. Dad, you, uh, you got some knee issues. You got some back issues, arm issues. Uh, you're lazy. I don't know. Multiple reasons this could be. Or you just want to be a genius. That's, uh, that is next level. I love these clips. The real reason I wear cowboy boots. Oh, yeah. Got the dude wipes. Hey, it's not a bad idea, especially if, um, you know, you're outside and you got to use a porta potty. They they give you the worst toilet paper possible in those places. So, I think that's a great idea. Dad got him good. All right, put your finger in there. Come on, see. All right, we're gonna see if your belly's full. Here, pull up your shirt with the other hand. All right, first we're gonna put on diodes. All right, take a deep breath. Oh no, it says, it says you have room for two more broccolis. You have three left, but you only got to eat two. Okay. All right. Got him. Yes. Look at this. Okay. Talking about genius dads. Kids, picky eater kids. You got to trick them sometimes. That's genius. Point of view. Every time you try to leave the house with a newborn. Every time. We got some good clips today. Back to Robin Williams. <laughs> Same things you never seen before. <laughs> Enjoy changing that one. Aaron Rodgers is a Swifty confirmed. Oh, dude. 
Yeah, this is what happens when you spend too much time in Wisconsin. Too much time drinking that spotted cow. All right, spend a decade there. You start going to T Swift concerts and become a Swifty in your 40s. Is he 40 yet? Maybe 38, 39? I don't know. Anyways, point is, careful when going through Wisconsin. <laughs> er, he's probably watching girls dance on TikTok. That's why he's not talking to me. <laughs> Dude, I, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is about these clips. These people, they go to their, you know, uh, random houses. They offer to weed whip and mow their lawns. I love those videos. I don't know why. It taps into some sort of like instinctual need to do the lawn without having to actually do the work and, and sweat the sweat and bleed the blood. But you get to watch this and it's so satisfying. I don't know why. This is what we're watching, ladies. This is it right here. Here's another good one for you. Magnet fishing. You ever seen that? You ever seen the magnet fishing? It's phenomenal. Stuff they find. They find guns underneath the freaking bridge all the time. Like, yeah, it's incredible. Did you know that toddlers have four kidneys? That's because they're born with two kidneys and two kidneys. Did you know, like, real men have three knees? Yeah, there you go. Dumb joke. Dumb jokes of the day. You can figure that one out yourself. Saving one speeder at a time. Okay, I've got a, I've got a police officer there. Report his ass. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. This is, you know, we're helping each other out here. This is why I love, like I know where I'm going. Like I, I literally know exactly the turns, everything. But I always turn on the GPS for this reason alone. It saved me probably two dozen speeding tickets for sure maybe that's an overestimation maybe it's under i don't know my husband doing military style room inspections <laughs> Hello, Hello. Hey, you ready all right let's go that's a pretty clean room for a kid that's my blinds oh yeah dust the blinds the didn't get it the drew on the wall contact the building manager for that you are the building manager <laughs> watch your mouth How many demerits did you get, huh? You get any uh, demerits on that? So are you showing up for detail on Saturday morning? That's, uh, you know, what's what you get? Your sergeant comes in, you weren't ready. You should have had it ready. You had plenty of time, plenty of notice to get your room cleaned. <laughs> Jeez. Stop doing that. <laughs> one more time, one more time. <laughs> what was that? No, one more time. Listen to the noise. They use he, she, whatever, uses to uh, scare him. <laughs> I would jump too. That's terrifying. 101 away for our lives to be over. That's what that uh, song is actually based off of. 101 away for our lives to be over. Da, 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 da. I don't know the song. He's cracked the code. All my mechanic friends who are tired of doing this, all and their neck hurts because they got to work on something and put your head up, but here's a little hack. Get you one of these water jugs. And give her a little pre-dent action here. Give her just a little pre-dent. All right, there you go. Now, now. It's going to be your pillow. You position so it cups around your head. It's honestly pretty comfy and it's adjustable. A little air out and your head goes down. All right, it's pretty good. Someone protect this guy. The pillow companies are going to be pissed once they see this. A lot of money going out the door there. Bad A kid. Oh, what? Whose kid is this? You're kidding me. That is... Dude, that's a little ch problem child there. Problem child, little Chucky. Shame on you. Who's filming this, by the way? Like you're filming this kid as they're committing crimes against humanity? Wow. Grandpa is full of great ideas, but this wasn't one of them. Oh, that's gonna... Wait, don't oh. slander. Julie, you gotta move way back. You, you gotta move way back. back. Sir. Back. 
Jeez. Did the tooth come out? Did you lose your tooth? Did your tooth out? No. Oh, the tooth didn't even come out. <laughs> fail, Grandpa. Fail. Big time fail. Tisk, tisk, tisk. Now I gotta fix the cabinets. Ugh. We snuck into our teacher's house at 1 a.m. for our senior prank. Uh, one eight. Okay, is this uh, this a crime? Good morning, little bunnies. <laughs> you okay with this? How many? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> and all of you. You might want to walk around. Oh, you two are really. You are in the most. How long have you? Seen? Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, it's. I like the idea. Kind of dangerous. You don't know if your teacher is uh, pro 2A or not, you know? <laughs> I don't know that it's, it's kind of dangerous. Uh, what that? What? Is this the World Series of Poker? You're going to allow this? You're going to allow this. Look, I'm all, for, I'm all for dogs, especially rescue dogs. I love rescue dogs. Uh, but at the poker table, at least put the dog under the, your seat or in your lap, maybe? What the? Is that a fucking toenail? <laughs> it might be. It might be. That's absolutely disgusting. Me at 70 telling my grandkids about the boys and I's old Warzone games. Pretty hard decides he's going to run deep into the woods, flank around the back of the house where the dude's firing at us, right? Well, he sneaks up behind the dude, and just as the dude turns, bam, popped one off in him, headshot, clean, dropped him. <laughs> the glory days of gaming. What the hell is Karen doing? What? You are there, love? Do you know what you're doing here with your engine idling? No, what? You are polluting the atmosphere. Really? You're just sitting here without a care of the world, with your engine running, okay. and you don't care who you're polluting here. Okay, really? There are lots of kids live around here, you know. What, what, what is that so? Well, well, yeah. well he lives here. I, I don't see any kids here. Well, they're not here at the moment, but they're living in these flats. You know, the okay. fumes from this car are going in through the, all the, the windows the, and all the, the ventilation. The, the, uh, the uh, fumes from this car, yeah? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, you do know that like, this car's electric, right? Ha ha ha! Yeah, yeah. You try and fob me off like oh, that. No, it's I'm an not electric car, car la -di -da -di -da. just to cover up your crimes. Because I what will crimes? be reporting this. You know. What? What? I'll what? You report me to who? To the authorities. What, what? What? And say what? Hey, excuse me. Someone's in their car. Yeah, I'm going to take a picture of you and all. What? Yeah, what? so that's you. What what you're in the car with the engine running. You're polluting the atmosphere. That is a crime now. How know? is it a crime? Because you are sending untold. Untold. Nasty emissions of poison this... all over this area. <laughs> well, really? You shouldn't be allowed. Am I really? Yes, I think you are the, really, I think the, I think really, the... really, really. As you live Is and this breathe, real? as you're talking to me now, you are sitting there with your engine running. And you're sat there with a the hat. Atmosphere. And you're sitting there, uh, and you're standing over there with a hat on. I'm like, I'm not complaining so, about that, am I? Well, that might be a crime against fashion, but it's certainly not a crime, as in the police are going to get me, are they? No, okay, okay, so what? You, you're going to call the police because, because I'm just sat in my car? You are sat in your car with your engine running. If you were sat in the car with your engine off, like, I wouldn't say anything about it. But love, it's an electric car though. I would my way and, you know, enjoy my afternoon rather than know, engaging like... in a pointless conversation with you. No, no. Although I hope like... it's not pointless because I'm hoping that you're going to turn that bloody engine off. Love, love, it's an electric yeah, car. Yeah, no, you've got a child in the back there. Love, love, it's an electric car. Do you know what car. you're doing to that child? You've got the window open talking to me. As you would, of course. But I'm saying but it's you, an electric car, though. It's not an electric car. It's, it's an electric car. <laughs> Look, is, there's, there's, no, there's no emissions coming out of it. What are you pointing here. at that for? What's it's, that? No, no. What I'm, is that? What? Oh, so it, that tells it's me it's an electric you car. Can you my car now? What? You, you've got the to, right. All right. You, Look, you've okay. got the right to, right. to, to okay. invade my finger. I'm not going to touch your car again. Thank but you. I'm just... I, I think this might be real. I think that was real. You know, I'm just going to go ahead and if this lady ever sees this, come to Minnesota or the Midwest anywhere when it's 20 below out. I'm running my car for about 20 minutes idling in the middle of the winter time. Lots of emissions going out. This, I hope this is fake. Do we got some confirmation? 
I wouldn't be surprised, sadly. That's where I'm at. I, if this was real, I would not be surprised. How would you do in today's video? Did you laugh at any of these clips? If you did, you lose. There's no punishment today. Save it for Sunday, where if you laugh, you lose, you do a punishment. As a reminder, head over to Old Glory Rustic Sign, use code Z23 for 10% off, and make sure you get a lockbox that, you know, you can store all of your, your memes in, your meme stash. Keep them safe. Let me know how you did down in the comments. While you're down there, please like this video. Please help us get it recommended to others. That's it for today's video. Until next time, I'm Tyler Zed. This is Education. 12, 15. Oops, stepping on them. There's a, it's black. Anyway. Idiots.